back to the daily grind with the only free MMA channel that fucking matters full time MMA. An MMA super agent, Malachi Kawa, came on Ariel Helwani's show today, Monday, to talk about a lot of different things. He's got he's a super agent, as I said. So he's got a lot of clients that range from Demetrius Johnson to Tyron Woodley to John Jones to Chris Cyborg, I believe, Mia Kang. He's literally got a lot of big star talent under his roster. So he comes on Ariel Helwani's show and he talks he talks about a lot of things. And the gist of what he had to say from what I could tell was Dana White's good the problems with Demetrius Johnson and Dana White they buried the hatchet on those they both just had some things to say to each other now that they've worked that out Demetrius Johnson's going to be fighting Ray Borg and then potentially moving on to some super fights some big money fights so they've hashed that out so Dana White's good as far as Demetrius Johnson is concerned and then when it comes to the George St. Pierre Michael Bisping fight he said listen Dana White can't make a man fight Tyron Woodley he said and he Ariel Hawani asked, do you believe that was ever part of the plan, Tyron Woodley vs. GSP? And he says, Dana White's never lied to me. So when Dana White looked at me and told me he's going to try and make the GSP fight, I believe him. But he can't make George St. Pierre fight Tyron Woodley, and that's where the problem is. He says, George St. Pierre doesn't want the Tyron Woodley fight. And what have I been saying? To me, the signs I picked up is showing that George St. Pierre don't want no smoke with Tyron Woodley. Just like Robbie Lawler don't want no smoke with Tyron Woodley. So everyone's going to come out and make these excuses and call Tyron Woodley a boring fighter and say that his stock's low and all of these things as an excuse to not have to fight Tyron Woodley, to not see your favorite fighter. If you're a fan that don't like Tyron Woodley, you just don't want to see your favorite fighter most likely get beat by Tyron Woodley because there's no real path to victory to beat Tyron Woodley. I'll repeat that. There's no real path to victory to beating Tyron Woodley. What do I mean by that? I mean, where is Tyron Woodley's weakness when you look at him? His jiu-jitsu? No, he doesn't get submitted. He's He doesn't get getting down. He just fought Jamie, Damian Maya, jiu-jitsu specialist. Won his last seven fights in a row. One of the last jiu-jitsu purists out there. And what happened? Tyron Woodley was able to stuff his takedowns 24 times. 24 out of 24 takedown stuff. So Tyron Woodley's wrestling on fleek. His jiu-jitsu, you're never, you're not gonna get to see it. Even though I believe it's, it's, it's good enough to get back to his feet. You're, we don't get to see his jiu-jitsu defense because he's so good at takedown defense. He doesn't get taken down. But what about his striking? Strikers have to worry about strikers such as Stephen Wonderboy Thompson who lost twice to Tyron Woodley. You've always got to worry about being taken down. You've always got to worry about the ground and pound. And you're worried about the overhand right. So, you can't just come in and outstrike Tyron Woodley. You can't hit Tyron Woodley to the body and expect it to beat him. A lot of people thought the way to beat Tyron Woodley was his cardio. But he came out and he's won two unanimous decisions in the fifth round. He still had energy to go after the Damian Maia fight, he said. with, And he said he's disclosing an injury, saying... He stuffed all these takedowns. He sustained an injury in the first or second round and still was able to come out here and dominate Damian Maya. So, you can hate Tyron Woodley all you want. Like I said, he's specked on your opinion. Make up the excuses. You can believe the excuses. You can think it's not excuses. No, bro. You've got to knock a guy out, bro. You've got to go out there and you've got to be exciting. Even as the champion, you've got to fucking go out there and earn that contender spot. What? No, the contender needs to bring the fight to the champion. If you want to be the champion, you got to beat the champion. Woo! Nature boy Ric Flair in this bitch. What the fuck you time at? So, you can hate Tyron Woodley. Don't watch his fights. That's fine. But as Ariel Helwani said, th there's four other fucking... That was the most stacked card of the year. Before that, UFC 205. Most stacked card of the year. You're complaining about a Tyron Woodley fight on a stacked card. You're still getting your money's worth from that card. Whether or not Tyron Woodley's on the card. So, you see one fight that doesn't turn out... The way you want it to go and you can start hating on the dude and now some people are gonna say no it's because he complains and he bitches and he moans well the people who complain and bitch and moan in the ufc get what they want people who come out and do what the ufc says their company men they get rolled over like demetrius johnson steve miocic he's, he's been coming out complaining about his contract recently i've always did what i was supposed to do i'm a company man but it's not right i'm getting paid less than these guys so you can complain about what how Tyron Woodley handles his situations in the media, but who the fuck are you to say that that's the wrong way? Because Tyron Woodley's getting results. 
He got put on UFC 205. He got put on UFC 214 with John Jones's return. He's been getting put on some huge cards, getting huge paydays. He's on the Fox desk. So if you don't, if what are you, what are you saying? If you're saying you don't like the fact that Tyron Woodley's complaining, you want him just to shut up, like Stephen Miocic or Demetrius Johnson? I guarantee you, some of you people that complain about Tyron Woodley being a complainer, you hear that? You're complaining about him being a complainer. Yeah, that doesn't sound too well, does it? So a lot of you people that are bitching about Tyron Woodley being a complainer, you, you also complain about Demetrius Johnson. You can't have it both ways. You cannot fucking have it both ways. I'm not going to go into no race bait and shit here, but I'm sure Tyron Woodley will be coming out about it soon. I'm sure Tyron Woodley's going to say, hey, man, they don't like Demetrius Johnson, who's quiet, the mouse, and they don't like me, who speaks up. What, those are two opposite personalities, but what do they have in common? I'm not going to say it. I'm going to let you wonder. And I'm not saying that anybody is, but there are some people. I've had people in the comments. Oh, fucking, I hate uh, fucking niggas going nig. And I'm, 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 bitch, shut the fuck up. I'm, I'm half black, half I'm half black and half white, and I don't give a fuck, dude. I, I Racism is comedy to me, not deep racism. But I'm, I don't buy that fucking everybody's racist bullshit. I don't live like that, and I don't fucking like when people say that shit. I don't buy that. But I will say it does exist. And you're a clown if you think it doesn't exist anywhere. I don't talk about it much. If you're a fan, you know that. So I'm not going to get into it here. But I will say it's interesting to see some of the same people complaining about Demetrius Johnson being quiet are some of the same people that complain about Tyron Woodley speaking out. And those, what do you want? Do you want him to be quiet or do you want him to speak out? You got to fucking pick your, you got to pick one, bro. So I'll be looking forward to the comments. You tell me why you don't like Tyron Woodley. Is it because he's a boring fighter? Kind of like George St. Pierre, the old welterweight champion who was known as being a boring fighter. Or or Tyron Woodley. I'm not, I'm sorry. Or Steven Thompson. Or what about Damian Maya? Damian Maya is known as being a boring fighter. More boring even so than Tyron Woodley, some people would argue. So why is Damian Maya the good guy in this situation? Why are there not as many people like, man, I'm fucking sick of Damian Maya's fights. Fuck that. I'm not watching it again. He's going to try and hold on to you. And if he can't hold on to you, he's going to fucking get beat. Or he's going to try and hang on to you like the Jorge Maya. There's, I mean, you see what I'm saying? I, I'm fine with everything. I'm fine with wrestling. I'm fine with jujitsu. I'm fine with fights that are methodical, that are cerebral, like Tyron Woodley's fights. I'm fine with Tyron Woodley's Wonder Boy fights and his Maya fight. The Maya fight, he showed takedown defensive excellence, and the shoulder injury explains why he wasn't able to throw that overhand right in the fourth and fifth rounds. In the in the one in the first Wonder Boy fight, Tyron Woodley won fight. He almost finished Wonder Boy a couple of times. It was actually an entertaining fight, and somehow he was given a draw as the champion, forced to fight this guy again, who already has a boring style. He didn't. He didn't ask for the Wonder Boy rematch. No, the UFC said, "Here's Wonder Boy. Fight him again." Even though you won the first fight, we're going to call that a draw and make you fight him again. So people are pissed off that he went in there and he did what he had to do to keep his belt. Now, they put him up against another fighter that's not very entertaining, Damian Maya, a guy that's going to go for takedowns all night. What does he do? Stuffs takedowns all fucking night. Before the fight, Dana White said, Tyron Woodley's going to be trying to run from Damian Maya and avoid the takedowns all night. So how are you going to come out after the fight whenever he does exactly what you said and, and criticize him for it? You knew he was going to go into this fight being a smart fighter, yet you penalize him for that same thing. But, as the manager said, they, that could be Dana White just playing the media as far as, you know, that's going to build hype for the fight. He tried to get the George St. Pierre fight to happen. He tried to get the Bisping fight with Robert Whitaker to happen. But these guys are content on fighting each other. They want to fight each other. George St. Pierre doesn't want any smoke with Tyron Woodley. Michael, S Michael Bisping doesn't want any smoke with Yoel Romero or Robert Whitaker. That's just what it's looking like. Now, Michael Bisping's never turned down a fight before. And due to this situation right here, it's looking like he's not going to have to. Because technically, Dana White's not going to say, Oh, I offered him Robert Whitaker, and he said no. Nope. Tyron Woodley lost this fight for Robert Whitaker. It's not like Michael Bisping said no. So this is confusing. It's interesting. It is what it is. Let the hitters know what the fuck you think about this stuff in the comments. Dude, according to the manager, Dana White's not the bad guy. GSP don't want no smoke. Hmm. As you guys know, my girlfriend works at a steakhouse. She was at work the other day when a customer came in. They ordered the food and they were pissed off. They said, where's your manager? I refuse to eat this steak. She said, there's no use. He won't eat it either. 